Hello and welcome to ET Auto. I'm with Nishant Arya, who is the Vice Chairman and Managing Director of JBM Group. And JBM Group, as we all know, is also a major player in the uh, emerging electric commercial vehicle market it's with uh, presence in the bus segment. And it's the leading uh, electric bus uh, maker in India. So we'll uh, learn from Nishant about the progression or the uh, migration from diesel to uh, electric or diesel to CNG in the bus segment. How do you see it progressing? And uh, with what the ministers spoke about at the SIM convention, do you think it will give a kind of a extra fillip to the electrification uh, trend, mega trend in India? No, I think uh, it's the opportune time when we see the electrification is happening because when we used to talk about electrification over the last five, six years, at that particular point, uh, parity was not there. Today, if you see there is a parity and the last NEBP, National Electric Bus Program, also was done without subsidies. And I feel subsidies are very good catalysts which are there, but eventually when things start scaling up, things are settled down, which are being focused with the payment security mechanism, which has come out in the PM e-bus seva program, which is for more than 10,000 buses across 169 cities to be deployed over the next few years. Or the FAME 2 scheme, which has been extended up to March 24, and then now we're expecting for a FAME 3 as well. Similarly, uh, multiple states are looking at their own programs to come up with this. I think it is uh, the right time when the conversion is happening at a very fast pace because the utilization, the total cost of ownership for electric buses is there because every bus is running for about 200, 250 kilometers on a city. And 300 to 500 kilometers minimum on an intercity route in a day. That's Tell so me, help me understand at the TCO level, which is like the uh, kind of no key, key, of yeah, the key factor for you know, purchasing, purchasing sure. decision for commercial vehicles. How does it compare between an electric and a diesel or CNG bus today as compared to even say, let's say, same uh, two years ago? So if you see today, uh, I'll take example of Delhi since we are here. So Delhi CNG bus was ab about uh, some time back as we saw 80-85 rupees per kilometer landed uh, on a gross cost contract basis. And uh, today if we are seeing the new electric bus contracts going, that is going at about 60-65 uh, rupees per kilometer, which is all inclusive. So you see almost uh, 30 to 35 percent of difference in terms of of the price reduction towards electric and uh, therefore it becomes a no-brainer for any city because here they are able to avoid and eradicate the theft of fuel, the tire theft because in many cases we are using specialized tires for EVs, the electricity can't be stolen and clearly the maintenance and the spare parts requirements also goes down because from 2000 moving parts we have 20 moving parts in electric buses at the same time we also understand and see that software plays a very critical role so the whole bus is governed by software at all times so all these pilferage issues get addressed in a big way at the same time the economies of scale which are building up are also reducing cost thirdly what we see is that standardization which is happening with larger tenders across the country is bringing a big change and fourthly i think the awareness which has been there for electric buses when passengers are using electric buses today they don't want to go back to diesel or cng because that has totally changed the way they used to Experience transition from a need to a choice so that way they're making a choice when they're using such kind of electric vehicles and they really want to use them even if they have to wait a couple of minutes or five minutes extra as the density of electric buses is still going up right and talking about uh, in a density going up uh, at what rate do you see the electric bus market growing and also overall also there's augmentation happening across uh, the country so overall bus uh, market size and within that uh, the share of electric what is the outlook or forecast See, I personally feel that today the market is about 1.6, 1.7 million buses in India. All put together, every year about 80 to 90,000 new buses are sold of all categories, whether it is school buses, tarmac buses, staff buses, airport buses, or uh, city buses or intercity buses. And I personally see by 2030, uh, more than 70 percent of uh, the buses which are being newly sold will be electric. When we talk about this, I personally see that in the next uh, 8 to 10 years, we would be looking at about a million buses getting added only based on the augmentation if the targets are being achieved. Uh, because uh, clearly today we are less than one bus per thousand 
but the target is that if we look at other emerging economies like Brazil or Mexico or South Africa or many other countries, they are close to 1.5 bus per thousand. So if we go there, 50 percent augmentation is requ buses are required only for augmentation. In addition to that, replacement is also there. But if I take a discounting factor and say the total volume is also 1 million, which is a huge number, and of that, if 70 percent is converting to electric, so we are talking about. Uh, 700,000 buses over a period of uh, next 10 to 12 years clearly being put across as a means of transportation which will totally change the and bring in a paradigm shift uh, totally change the market as well so you're saying that potentially they could be you uh, know i mean uh, market uh, or a size of uh, 700,000 electric buses yes. over the next what seven years or so 10 to 12 uh, years. 10 to 12 years or so and uh, t tell me in terms of uh, your own presence you also at the uh, auto expo this time uh, showcase the uh, luxury coach coach so which uh, how is the uh, penetration of electrics happening in that segment intercity coach segment uh, and also today the secretary also of ministry of road transport also it said that subsidies are required only for maybe uh, intracity uh, urban transport sure. electric mobility so uh, uh, do you buy that and uh, just throw paint a picture how is the overall bus segment doing in terms of the you know, luxury coach and the others? So the luxury coach segment is a no-brainer if you see. What is required is that how the charging infra can be addressed there and the charging discharging requirements are taken care of based on the operating pattern. A luxury coach normally runs if it is a short distance about 150,000 kilometers per year and if it is a longer distance than 200,000 kilometers per year. Therefore, asset utilization goes up significantly even if the price is not going up as significantly as the asset utilization is. So therefore that becomes a big game changer and clearly we are able to see that uh, for any luxury coach company they would like to deploy such kind of vehicles and that's why we are seeing a lot of demand and being the first electric luxury coach in the country which we launched in the auto expo running 1000 kilometers a day, it was a game changer for our customers. And uh, we have been receiving a lot of requests and requirements and uh, clearly I think uh, it is going to change, bring in a huge shift in the way people operate and use these vehicles and even the passengers who are using these vehicles are really loving what they have with them. So, so you are saying that there is a strong business case for uh, intercity buses, electric buses, yeah, even yeah. without a subsidy. Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, uh, lastly, uh, you, you are the, you know, JBM is the leader in electric buses, uh, but now as the market opportunity increases, more players coming in, existing players stepping up the game. What is your strategy to sustain and uh, maintain and sustain that leadership? Uh, so we are looking at always 35% plus market share which we have to sustain that. And uh, categorically we are even now having about 5,000 buses which are under execution. So the, with the largest electric bus manufacturing facility in India, where we are doing 20,000 electric buses we can do per year and now having huge global requirements. We are well positioned and I think we are very committed to the electric bus business and not only electric buses but the whole EV ecosystem. So focusing on vehicle technology, battery technology, charging technology and the whole mobility solution based on the giving the experience to the end customer. That is our focus where software, hardware, firmware play a very important role along with power electronics and the whole charging infrastructure which is being made available for the end customer. Any, any major global aspirations also becoming taking JPM globally? I believe we already have some export presence, right? Uh, so we are catering to a few global markets today also. We have a lot of such requests and requirements. But definitely uh, we would be looking to launch our products globally in uh, multiple markets very soon. On that note, Nishant, wishing you and your team all the very best. Uh, there you heard uh, Nishant Arya, Vice Chairman and Managing Director of JBM Group, painting a picture for us about how the electrification megatrend is going to uh, is expected to uh, progress in the uh, commercial vehicle space, especially in, in the buses segment, and how uh, JBM sees a lot of opportunity to tap those those op to tap those uh, demand uh, and maintain or sustain its leadership position in this business. On that note, thank you for watching this interview. Take care. Goodbye.